In this video, I would like to cover the differences between C++ and the Java agents. There are two agent types currently available for EFM. It's either C++ or Java. There are some key differences between them. On the UI, you can first put this difference if you are going under the agent manager if you are bringing up the agent details you can see under the agent type attribute that for the c++ agent it's naturally says c++ and if you are bringing up uh, agent details for java agent at the moment it will say minify job and of course uh, there are additional differences other than the names seeing is that the c++ is a standalone implementation so it's built up from scratch just for this purpose. However, the Java implementation is actually headless NiFi. Because of this, there is a big difference in the footprint in general. So the C++ has a, an order of magnitude smaller footprint compared to the Java agent. For C++, it's about 10 plus megabytes. But for the Java agent, currently the MinI5 version is more than 200. In addition, uh, C++ is pretty much self-contained, but for the Java agent, uh, you will be uh, needed to have a Java installation on your machine before you would be able to uh, use it first. Let's go to the processor offerings. So if you are bringing up the designer in EFM, as in earlier videos, it's or it was already stated, the processor and the designer itself uh, it's driven by the agent capabilities so agent is exposing the manifest and based on that manifest uh, EFM is uh, creating uh, the designer experience so you are able to create flows specifically for those agents capabilities for the C++ agent uh, by default as you can see there are quite a few processors but for the Java agent, that uh, list is much bigger. Uh, and uh, as uh, the Java agent is basically a headless NiFi, all those extensions, all those NARs should be all available. So you would be able to add extensions and extend the list of available processors here. Other than the list and the offering itself, let me add the generate flow five processor. It's just one example, but there could be many. If we are bringing up uh, the generate flow file processors configuration, left side is a C++ agent, right side is the Java agent. You can see that, for example, under the properties, there are more properties for the Java agent. Also, uh, the order of the properties in, is different and the default value of the properties. For example, for the C++ agent, the data format is binary and the Java agent, the data format is text. And there is this character set, which is an additional configuration option for the Java agent. So there are differences in configuration. There are differences in defaults. There are differences in namings as they are implementing the same functionality or similar functionality, but they are different implementations. So you can expect the differences between them. Also, there could be uh, processors that are specific to one agent type. For example, the C++ agent has a much wider uh, offering for Windows, like event collection and uh, resource consumption specific processors. And in addition, uh, there was a ton of work done recently for the C++ agent uh, on Kubernetes. So uh, if you are looking for an agent to collect or process data on Kubernetes, maybe at the moment, the C++ agent would be the agent type of choice. Other than these differences, there is one more big thing is the implementation of the C2 protocol, meaning uh, Java agent has right now a pretty limited implementation. It's able to heartbeat and it's able to update flows, but not much other than that. If you are coming to the agent manager for the Java agent, you won't see, for example, configuration uh, capabilities. If, uh, the system tells you that the agent doesn't support property configuration. And there is not much else here, but if you are doing the same for the C++ agent, you will see that configuration uh, information is actually available here. And on top of that, you have this debug agent button, which as you can see, it's not present uh, for the Java agent, which you can use to request debug information, logs, properties, uh, flow information from the agent. And uh, other than this, 
there is on the agent class level, let's do the same for the Java agent. So for the Java agent on the agent class level under actions, you just can go to the manage agents, but for C++, under actions, you have the edit agent configuration capability, which means that uh, all the properties that are recognized by the agent can be configured and overridden from EFM. This is not yet available in on Java side, but we are working on uh, eliminating this gap in the C2 capabilities between the two agents. Another interesting uh, tidbit is that uh, the repository information, given the architecture and approach taken in the implementation for the C++ agents, it's, it's not really available there. However, that information is available for the Java agents. Uh, there could be additional uh, similar small differences between them. Also, differences can come between different versions. But these are uh, uh, the core separating factors between uh, Java and uh, C++ agents. Thank you for listening and see you in the next videos. <laughs>